Hey guys, Kieran here again, and in today's lesson we're going to be doing Cinder by Garden by the band All Time Low. Uh, this is an acoustic arrangement of the song and uses some simple chords. Um, so to play this song you need a, you won't need a capo solo, um, just in standard tuning. Uh, I know I've got mine on the second fret, but my guitar is tuned a whole step down, so I need it on the second to make it sound like it's in standard. Um, but you guys won't need a capo and it'll sound just like this. Um, so, chord wise, there's four chords. Um, I'll go over those quickly and then we'll get straight into it. Um, so, for all the chords, uh, you'll be putting your pinky and third finger on the third fret of the first string and the second string. They won't move the whole song. Uh, and then you'll be using your first and second to uh, change the shape of the chord. So, the first chord is this E minor which is 1st and 2nd finger on the 2nd fret of the 5th and 4th string and then to this G which is 2nd finger on the 6th string of the 3rd and then 1st finger on the 5th string of the 2nd fret and then this C which you just, when you're on this G, just pop the fingers down a string and you get to that C and then you've got this D as well, which is first finger on the second fret, the third string. Uh, the easiest way to play this D is to play like that, but you can actually play just a regular D if you if you want to. So where your pinky is there, you just move it a fret along and put down your second finger on the second fret of the first. But you you can just play like that, so you don't have to move his two fingers the whole song. Uh, so it start f starts off with an intro um, and then goes into the verse. So the intro and verse uses the same string pattern which is just down up down up and it is eight times on each chord. Um, so the chord progression for the intro and verse is E minor for eight times up and down, uh, down and up sorry, and then G for eight times C for eight times, and then G for eight times, uh, and so for the intro that goes around twice, and for the verse it goes around four times. So I'll just play the intro now and the verse, uh, just so you can get a sense of what that sounds like. So I just went straight into the pre-chorus there. Um, so the pre-chorus, you go to this A minor. What you can do, you can just hit it once and let it ring. And then the second chord at the pre-chorus is that C again. But when you're in this A minor, you can play just a regular C instead of going back to that C. Uh, but it's completely up to you what you want to do there. So I'll just play that pre-chorus just one more time. Um, just uh just to piece everything together. So it'd be I know it gets hard for you to stay, but do you really wanna throw it all away? I'm thinking. So with that pre-chorus, like I say, you can just hit them once. You can just put a few more strums in if you want. Um, but like I say, it's just A minor to C, and then you're into the chorus. So with the chorus, you. You change the chord progression and you go to a new strumming pattern. So the strumming pattern will be strumming pattern two. So strumming pattern one was the down ups, the verse intro, and then you go to strumming pattern two for the chorus. So I'll just play the chorus now and then I'll uh, I'll recap over it. And no, uh, it gets happier to stay, but do you really want to throw it away? I'm 
I'm thinking we can make forever after all. Finding gold in the darkest moments, walking the roads, looking at the from the day. We don't have to have to be a divorce. I'll be the boy with the silver lining. You'll be the girl with the silver lining. So the chord progression for the chorus. Um, will be a G for the whole of the strum pattern, the C for the whole of the strum pattern, to this E minor to D, which is split between the strum pattern. So you play half the strum pattern on the, on the E, and then the second half on the D, and then you go back to this G to C, which is again a strip, uh, a split strum pattern. So, and that chord progression is played twice. So it's G for a whole strum button, C for a whole strum button, split strum button between E and D, and then a split strum button between G and C, and that is played twice for the chorus. So the strum pattern um, will be in the description, but I'll just go over it quickly now. So the first half will be down, 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 up, down, 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 up, down, 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 up, down, and then the second half will be up, up, down, down, up, down, up. So all together will be so it'll be down, 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 up, down, up, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, up, down, down, up, down, up. And in this the description down below, I'll put a slash where you gotta change the next chord. Um, so I'll just play that chor chorus one more time uh, just so you can piece everything together. I'm thinking we could make forever after all. Finding gold in our darkest moments, watching the rose turning in a wild rose. We don't ever have to leave these walls. I'll be a boy. After that chorus, you do uh, the chorus chords one more time, but um, this is a little interlude section um, to break up the chorus for the next verse. Uh, so, like I say, it's the same same chords as the chorus. You can just change the strum pattern slightly, um, and you can go to strum pattern three for that, which is very similar to strum pattern two. It just sort of changes the feel ever so slightly. So the the uh, strum pattern will change to down down up down down up up down down up down up down down up down down up down down up down up, and with the chords that will sound like this. So it just changes it ever so slightly, uh, just jazzes it up a little bit. Um, so now we're into verse 2, which is exactly the same as verse 1, uh, chord-wise and shroom pattern-wise. Um, and then you get to pre-chorus 2, which again is the same. Uh, going into chorus 2, again is the same. Um, uh, and the second interlude as well, you can play the same as the first. Uh, and then you get to the bridge, which changes the chords to an E minor to C, to G, and then a D, and you play that twice. So for this bridge you go to strum pan 3, uh, and for each chord you'll be playing the, um, the strum pan one time. So bridge will sound like this. Bridge, you go into uh, 
another chorus, uh, but the first C and G and C the chorus, you just hit it once and let ring, and then when you get to that E to D, that's where you open it up for the, uh, the strumming uh, as normal. Um, so the last chorus is exactly the same length as the previous chorus. Uh, and then the little inter uh, outro section, which is the same as the interlude sections, uh, and you can you can play that one time through or two times through, whichever you prefer. And also, I should add that the interlude sections is a bit where it goes, oh 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 oh. Um, just forgot to mention that before. Um, so yeah, I'll play the bridge now, chorus into the outro. Necessary will be in the description um, as well as the chords as well. Um, so if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. I've been doing some more tutorials by All Time Low, A Day to Remember, uh, bands like that. So stay tuned for more. Uh, if you've got any questions about the tutorial, I might have missed something by mistake, um, don't hesitate to put them in the comment section and I'll answer them straight away. Um, so until next time. Peace out.